A couple of interesting things have happened over the last, mm, I'll say, eight to ten days that have to do with uh, women and being engaged, engagement rings. The first thing that happened, and this was last week, there were some very active discussions on websites and social media, including Facebook, about an ad that was allegedly uh, produced by Kay's Jewelers promoting an engagement ring for $24.99. You know, I mean, whatever. If you want to do that at Kay's Jewelers, that's fine. I do want to say, though, that I like to verify things before I talk about them on my channel. So I went looking. I looked in Bing. I looked in Dogpile. I looked in Yahoo. And I looked in uh, Google and I couldn't find that ad so whoever I, it's my suspicion I mean I can't say it for for a fact but it's it's suspicious that you know in the day of the internet when you can find ads online from five ten years ago that this ad was not anywhere except in the one design and in the one place that I saw it on Facebook it was the same ad reproduced over and over and over on different blogs and websites discussing it. I never could find it anywhere else. So that was suspicious. So let's just say that somebody in their brilliant and, and stupid, stupid mind came up with this concept to promote this $24.99 engagement ring. Okay, I'm going to talk about the discussions that uh, went along with that in a few minutes. But I also want to talk about what happened just a couple of days ago. Your girl Paris Hilton, remember her from the Hilton clan? She used to do a TV show with, uh, uh, what's that girl's, Lionel Richie's daughter. I can't remember her name right now. But this week, uh, Paris got proposed to, right? Girlfriend is blinged the hell out. She got this ring that's so big. You can see that sucker from Mars. It's ridiculous. 20 carats, $2 million custom designed pear shaped diamond. This thing is so big. I'll show you pictures of it in a minute. This thing is so big, it takes up like three quarters of her finger. Now, who is she getting engaged to? They gave her a ring that's bigger and brighter than my future, your future, all of our futures put together. Dude, I'm telling you, dude just came with it. He's an actor. I understand he's in some HBO series. Um, and he's also an artist whose work is actually selling. People are appreciative of his, his style. So dude is allegedly uh, reported to have a net worth of about $4 million. Paris's net worth is over $400 million. So he's like worth 10% of what she's worth. But when you look at that, the ring that he gave her is half of his net worth, right? Two million dollar ring. So if you have a black man who say, you know, he got a few coins in the bank, his net worth is about 50 grand, not including his annual salary, which he has not collected yet. That would mean if on an equivalent level that he would be spending $25,000 on his bride's engagement ring. Yet in the discussion that I saw online, there were just hundreds of black women ready to settle and happy to accept a ring a, a engagement ring of uh, a value of $24.99 so that's what we're going to talk about and delve into what is it that makes black women think that they have so little value that they have to settle for something like that or be called a gold digger okay that's what we're going to talk about. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, let's continue on with this. It's, this is about to get real interesting, I want to tell you. Okay, so let's let's reiterate. I'm going to be talking about the K Jewelers ad uh, promoting an engagement ring for $24.99 and what so many black people had to say about that price. And we're also going to talk briefly about Paris Hilton's engagement ring of $2 million in value. So her boyfriend, her, well, fiance person, 
uh, has a net worth of about 1% of her value. She's worth 100 million, he's worth four. Um, he gave her a ring that's half his net worth, right? Two million, he's worth four. So that means brother is making, you know, with, with a collection of dollars around 50 grand, should be giving up a ring around $25,000. You know, it could be a little less, but you know, $24 is definitely not acceptable. Yet, there were so many black women who were talking about this ring and how um, they would rather have a cheap ring than be in debt. Save up for kids and experiences while you rock that cheap man-made gym, they pleached. One says, pay for a new car, not a stupid ring. Pay for a down payment on a house, not a stupid ring. Okay. My, my comment to that is this. If you marry a man who either is so broke, because you know, some of the women say, well, you know, maybe that's all he can afford. So you, you getting with a dude who can only afford $25 for an engagement. What is this motherfucker straight out of prison? What, I mean, what, he just got dropped off the planet from, you know, some kind of spaceship or something. He don't have no money. What in the world do you think you're going to do with a man, marrying a man, and having a family and paying expenses of a household and all of that with a man who only has $25 of disposable income to spend on the ring? What you ladies don't understand is this. When, you, when a guy is growing up, he knows what the deal is. He knows what women dream of, especially if he has sisters, but even if not, just discussions, re listening to TV shows, reading magazines, books, or whatever. He, no little girl's vision, no dream is to get engaged with some microscopic crackerjack ass ring that she, you know, has to be ashamed of. What woman of class and style is going to want to sport a $25 ring unless she's 15? Okay? That's some teenage shit. You don't give a grown woman. Of a little Cracker Jack style ring. You just don't do that. If your stuff is so tacky and so untogether that you can't afford more than that, then brother, you need to be getting your grind together. That's what you need to be focusing on. You need to be looking at a second job, a third job, going back to school, doing something because if you're supposed to be positioning yourself as a provider and a leader of a household, your ass is too broke to handle that. You, you, you ain't ready. So, you know, these women promoting this kind of stuff, and I'm going to show you some slides as we go through. You're not going to get to see my lovely face, which I know you're all happy to shoot. I'm happy to see it myself. I was so sick. Oh, my God. I was so sick. I really seriously was wondering if it was like my checkout date or something because of how sick I got. But uh, let's go back to talking about this ring. So some of the stuff this lady said, you know. Oh, wait. Well, this one guy, he did agree with me. He says, you know, if dude needs to wait until he can do more financially before getting in a serious relationship, because men are supposed to be providers. It's not an option. If he's not there, then he needs to fix that first. I totally agree with him. And I was wondering, you know, as we were going through this, because, you know, there's so many girls in the black community growing up without dads. Dad, no, there's no father in this world that would approve of you marrying a man who comes with a $25 ring. So that's what makes me wonder, you know, how many of these women who were willing to accept that grew up without their dad? Because no daddy, I mean, even if he's the most rogue, clown, you know, thug, dad, you know, whatever, is going to think that that's appropriate. Because even when the thugs, you know, boosters and stuff want to get engaged, they don't come with no $25 ring. They, gonna, they might pay, I don't know, $500 for it, but they're going to get a $5,000 ring, some kind of hook or crook. They're not going to do that. So I don't know what kind of pride these guys have in themselves as men to think that sending their woman out into the world with this like you know teenage play ring on is gonna do anything and you ladies gotta understand with everything that men do is to impress other men you think it's to impress you it ain't about you it's about them they want to look like men to other dudes so if a dude does wants to come with a $25 ring what he's communicating to you is that he doesn't give a shit about you. That's what he's saying. And that message will be clearly visible to every man that you that sees that little cheap ring on your hand. He's going to know your dude is just playing with you. He's not serious. He's a joke. He's just nothing. And they're going to be looking at you trying to, you know, figure out what's wrong with you that you think that that's okay. See, that's going to be a problem for you. 
So this these chicks, man, they came with some crazy stuff. Okay, it's not about the price. It's the thought that counts. True love has no price. Okay, now juxtapose that against what I just said about how men run to press other men. Why do they do? They get them rims. They get the Jordans. They get the, you know, the flyest haircut. They get uh, the baddest woman. They get, you know, the biggest TV. They get the best sound system in their car. They're going to get the most expensive ride that they can afford to have or some classic, you know, might not cost them, but they're going to fix it up. It's going to be a classic that's going to turn heads wherever they go. It's going to be like, you know, it's all restored and all this old stuff. Guys try their hardest to impress other men. That is one of the standards of manhood. Okay, having a woman with a big ass rock on her finger that he bought is another way to show other dudes that he got his stuff together. So you got a man who don't have his stuff together and he gives you a little chip ring and you up there sporting it like, you know, it's something. You're dumb. That's what I'm going to say. You're dumb and you you just don't have no sense at all. And the man that you marrying is a clown. And you just, I don't know what to say. That's a mistake. That's what I'm going to say. So then this other one says, well, okay, in response to that, she was funny. She says, it's the thought, if the thought that counts, then he needs more time to think. And I agree with her. And another one comes back and says, sometimes the thought is you never should have thought this at all. So, you know, they was kind of going in on these women. Um, gently, you know, in a humorous way, but they were definitely going in on them and checking them about their attitude, you know, willingness to accept the silly stuff. And um, this one lady was saying that she would, where is her, I, you know, I'm trying to make, print out my slides so I could find, uh, to, to find them. But this one chick was talking about how she would accept um, a Cheerio and it gave it ring. I was like, wow, you really don't have a problem. And so then these guys, you know, some of the guys, uh, David says, uh, you know, it proves how much men really don't value women. If a man thinks spending $25 on engagement ring is okay, then when he wants you to, well, okay, I'll just put the slide on the so you can read it. I'm not going to repeat what he said. But um, some of the other guys, you know, they have a, a, a more sensible idea and chances are they were probably raised with their daddy because you have a situation where you got men who are not raised with fathers they don't know how to do all of this stuff no one has told them and you have young ladies who are raised without a father figure they don't know what what to accept and what to send people back to the starting gate with either so you got two two you know we several generations of young african-american men and women with no clue for the standards that they're supposed to be looking for before they agree to give their life over to somebody in marriage you know because we look at it you know marriage you you go into it with the idea that this is forever right so you want to say well it's not about the money the hell it's not do you know like 90 percent of divorces are are about finances people it causes a huge strain on your marriage and your relationship and you you can't go into a, a situation where you're planning to bring children into it have the responsibilities for a household educating those like children feeding and clothing them and think that you can do that with some broke man it's not gonna happen the kids are gonna suffer and so are you that makes no sense you're going into it all with your mind all wrong already and think about this okay we're, we're gonna go over this because it seems like some women don't get it men spend their money on what is important to them okay they don't have no problem just unassing all kinds of money when it's something that they want right when it's something that's gonna benefit them so, like I said, if he's only willing to spend less than $50 on you, that's because he doesn't see you as valuable and important. And uh, I put, I made a slide with just some things that I, you know, thought of. I'm sure you could think of some more because, you know, the guys I tend to associate with already know the deal. They don't become, you know, they're professional men, educated, and they don't come with $25 anything. So, I mean, nothing. It's $25, maybe it's Starbucks or something, but they're going to give you a gift card that's going to be, you know, $50. So I don't really like affiliate with people like who think like this, but let's go over some of the things that we know men spend money on that cost more than $25. Okay, I shall put the list up for you to see. Some Jordans. I searched online, look like, you know, average price, I mean, depending on which one, you know, about, you know, somewhere in the $175, $225 range. Everybody's cell phone bill, 
you know, you spend it close to a hundred dollars, if not more. We have Verizon around here. That should be crazy. But I refuse to change because of the quality of the service. I never have a drop call. Never. With Sprint, it was every ten minutes. So you know, that's that. I pay for the quality. The monthly cable television bill. You know, cable TV is pricey. Eighty bucks. Pay for few fights. A hundred dollars. Seeking season tickets to their favorite sports team, five grand. Hennessy XO, 179. A round of drinks for their boys out at the club, $100. The Xbox console, 250. Xbox Live annual subscription, $60, although they did have a sale during Christmas. You want some Stacey Adam dress shoes? Those are about $70, $75. You want a Stephen Curry jersey, $100 plus, depending on which one you get. A carton of cigarettes, unless you go to Costco, is about $100. The Star Wars Last Jedi with a friend. The tickets, $45. That don't include drink, popcorn, and other snacks. A week of Frappuccinos at Starbucks. That's at least $30. A few new hip-hop CDs to, you know, bounce on in the car. You know, it's around $50. And a new flat screen 75-inch HD TV with surround sound and all that old stuff. You spend at least three grand. So these are things that brothers have in their house, on their feet, on their back. They, you know, walking around with it. They use it for the entertainment. But you want to be okay with them spending $25 on your engagement ring, which ties you to that man for life. Essentially, you're going along with to him for $25. Ladies, no. And as this one lady, this one guy rather pointed out, you know, if you know, you know you've got a plan that you're going to pop the question. Okay, it's not usually a spontaneous thing. Men think about it. They try to position themselves to be ready, you know, financially, mentally, and emotionally. So you going through all these conniptions, right? You're getting yourself ready for the proposal and a life as a husband and father. So you you getting your mind right. You're getting your wallet right. You're getting everything ready. So this guy says, you know, if you're popping the question to your queen, you already know months ahead of time when you're going to do it. If you do it the proper way, you ask, you know, you talk to her dad, her parents first, then you start saving your money or you already started saving your money because you're going to purchase a nice ring. So he says, in his case, I started saving ahead of time. I asked her father in February. He gave me his approval. The next day, I went to the jewelry store called a Valentine's Day sale. I placed the ring on layaway. I worked and worked and worked and paid that ring off. And then in September, I proposed. But I knew ahead of time what date I wanted to do it. So I allowed myself plenty of time to give her something that I felt matched the man that I am and the lady she is. Love is an action word and it takes work. Okay, see, that is the key right there match the man I am and the lady that she is and you guys willing to accept $25 you have a scallywag clown for a man and you devalue yourself to the level of a rock okay this guy what's his name Deke Rob just like summed it all up so you know you guys I don't know these women they weren't really thinking I don't know what I don't know what they were thinking about I didn't really get to like talk to them you know like talk to ask a question I could only maybe post something and then they would you know briefly respond in this forum which may not be the best uh, environment conducive to you know going deep into people's feelings about themselves and their childhood and what messages they were given about who and what they are and stuff like that I mean this will require me to really sit down with these women and really ask them some deep probing questions about what they think about themselves but there's no you know there's no way if you getting with a dude and, you know, these women are saying, well, you know, he should put down the money on the house. Girlfriend, what what, what you smoking? Okay, brother man, don't, the best he can do or best he's offering you is a $25 ring, but yet you expect him to come up with $20,000 for a down payment on a house? Are you serious right now? You know, I mean, he can't afford it. You're going to be living in a rental apartment, probably a studio or one bedroom apartment forever. Be, unless you get to come up with some money because dude never took the time to prepare himself to be a husband and a father. Okay. And this one lady says, you know, clearly this is a woman living in a sunken place. <laughs> oh, that should have turned your finger green. I will require my ring from Tiffany's. I won't take anything less. Well, Tiffany's. I think is about to get, you know, like bum rushed by Green and Company, who is the company who uh, produced Paris Hilton's ring. And, uh, you know, that ring is fabulous. I mean, it's not my style. I mean, I like pear shape, but the ring is just too big. I mean, 20 carats, I, I can't do that. I'm not that. You see what kind of jewelry. I'm not, uh, that's not me. But I'm also not putting on no 20 
five dollar ring and it will turn your finger green or you will get like a rash you know like on your ring it's just like ugly rash but leave a scar on your hand you know you, you got to be careful about that tin get me putting that stuff on there okay so then this lady you know so then wh what about a black woman who says okay well you know i'm not gonna accept the 25 dollar ring that's just not gonna happen okay so this lady shares well the ladies in the group that i'm in got called the following Hoes ran through gold diggers shallow miserable bitter will never have a man can't get a man all because they refuse to accept a $25 engagement ring and um, you know that's really sad because black women get shamed into accepting less and there's no you know you don't hear about white women getting that asian women they don't know nothing the dudes will save up their money because they have they associate having a wife a woman to love you as something important and valuable and you know you see the young guys online young white guys upset because they feel like they'll never be able to qualify they'll never have meet the standards that they feel like they need to have to get a wife to qualify to get a wife whereas you have black men coming up with some 25 dollar trinket and thinking that you know that they should get your whole life full access to your body all your time energy effort and heart and everything else for 25 dollars and some weak conversation y'all need to understand what time it is that I'm, I'm telling you if you don't understand go back and listen to what i said about how men rank other men by what they have okay what they have the baddest babe the best car the newest car the newest tires the biggest rims i mean whatever it is you know in their social circle because i mean each do you know what i mean there's people with different classes of people that value different things but a guy always strives to be the best, to have the biggest, the best, and the most, because that is what impresses other men. It makes him look like a better dude when he has the best of whatever it is that we're talking about. So you got your dude giving you some little, little nothing. You, you're, he's not even trying to impress anybody, including you. This girl says the ring doesn't matter in the long run. It's the person you're marrying that matters. Maybe the ring is the only one he could afford. You shouldn't be that shallow. See, once again, trying to shame black women who have better standards and more and higher expectations for themselves to accept less or uh, be viewed negatively for it. So, I, I don't know. You know, I mean. I thought, thought about it back to when I was in high school, um, I had this little guy that liked me and he gave me um, a ring. It had jade in it. I'm not sure where he bought it from, um, but he, you know, he was Asian and uh, probably Chinatown or something. But it was a nice gold ring with um, jade in it and uh, some like little, it looked like a dragon or something. I guess it was a dragon. I don't know. I forgot. I wonder if I still have it. But it had like these diamond eyes. And he used to work at um, a grocery store that was in a union. Now, keep in mind, when I was in high school, it was like ancient times. And this kid was making at the time $6 an hour, which was like a fortune for all of, you know, everybody else. We were babysitting for like $2 an hour or something like that. So he was making 6 bucks an hour and he worked, you know, like 25 hours a week. So he saved up this money and he bought me this ring. And I know the ring cost several hundred dollars then, okay? And I'm like, why would you? And I wasn't even gonna marry him. He gave me that for my birthday. So I'm like, what is it that makes some women's standards and expectations and their value of, of themselves and, and how they let men view and treat them so low? It just, it really hurts my heart to see so many of you. I just, ugh. It is, it is definitely, you know, I talk a lot of smack on here, but that kind of stuff hurts my heart to see um, my sisters down themselves like that and think that they have to just accept anything just to have a man or to, to get married or, or whatever. And, you know, marriage is hard. It's hard enough when you have everything going for you it's, it's just you know there's some challenges there so when you go into it with a situation where you don't expect much from your man you just take anything that he any way he treats you you, you know you accept it because your eye is on 
this being married versus who you're marrying. You know, your man has to do his best at all times. He has a strive for greatness, and you need to see that. Him buying you the ring of uh, the, that a high school student would buy is not his best. He needs to save, and he needs to work harder, and he needs to do more, and he needs to do better so he can qualify to have a wife. You don't just let some guy, you know, take you off the market, um, and he's not doing his very, very best, his hardest. So, um... I don't know, you just, I, I mean, even, I think it would be better if a guy didn't have any, you know, money for an engagement ring, if he didn't get any ring at all, you know, save the money, give her a nice band, and you know, you guys can exchange bands, maybe with some diamonds in or something, but nothing, you know, like spectacular. Don't insult your future bride like that. And ladies, don't demean yourself by accepting something like that. Give that back to him and say, you know, you obviously need this money. You need this more than me. So you go and take that back to the store, get your money back, and you save that. And then you come with a deed to a house or you pay off some student loans or you do something with yourself that's going to um, bring some value to my life. Because if you're not bringing no value to my life more than $25, which is what I spend at Starbucks every week, then I, you know, there's nothing for me here with you. And they want to say that that's materialistic or whatever, whatever. Okay, it is. It's materialistic. Good. But, you know, you, you, if you, you don't want your, um, your man, you don't want to settle for that. You, I mean, I get sick of seeing black women devalued and, and treated like they're nothing. So, I, you know, no other race of woman is going to do that. You see them brothers be trying to hook up with some white girl. They ain't coming up with no $25 ring. What the hell? I'm like, no. You know, you got to plan. You got to, like, work hard. You got to be financially solvent in order to have a wife. And a dude, like I said, whose best is $25 is not doing his best. Now, you don't have to be blinged out like Paris Hilton. You know, we got like both ends of the spectrum in this conversation. But, you know, there's a nice happy middle based on the guy's, you know, current salary and where he's going to be maybe after he gets finished his grad school or, you know, whatever. Whatever is his situation, you need to see solid proof that he's striving for greatness. And if you don't see that, then you don't marry him. Okay, that's that's my advice. Deborah Cooper from SurvivingDating.com closing out this discussion on cheap ass engagement rings and Paris Hilton with the bling that you can see from Mars. Girlfriend got it going on. I'll be back. Talk to you guys about something else real soon. Bye bye. Now that you've seen some of the grade A content that the Debsterism channel offers, please become a subscriber. Just click the subscribe button down below. Then you'll see a little bell. Click that after and then you'll be able to get notifications sent directly to your cell phone of when I post new content. You can be one of the very first people to review the new videos, like them, comment them on them and share them. We'd like you to do all of those things to help the channel grow. I appreciate your support. So become a subscriber. Tell your friends.